So, Makana, man, let me ask you, man, where are you from? I'm from the Dominican Republic. You're originally from yeah, the Dominican originally, Republic? Yeah. Where are you residing at now? Uh, New Jersey, Clifton. New Jersey. So, let me ask you, how did you start, uh, how did you become a porn star? Well, honestly, I used to just whip my penis out on, on girls in the streets. You know, that was like, it? like people would be like, yo, I did, I'll give you $20 if you put your penis out. Yeah, but like, literally, what step did you take? That was literally that was it? it. Like, I pulled my penis out mm -hmm. on the right girl. On the right person. And she gave me a card. And she gave you a when card. When I called the card, the number, like, it was a dude or whatever. It happened to be that my boy, shout out to Maniatico, my boy knew the guy. So he took me to him already. They were like, oh, this is the guy that uh, the girl told you about. <laughs> he went in the room. She was supposed to, like, get me excited. And, like, two seconds after he walked out, he had to walk back in. She was like, oh, he's hired. And he's like, oh, we're going to hire you. And then that's how I took it upon. Like, that's how I rolled with it. All right. So give us the good, the bad, and the ugly in the industry. Well, I mean, it depends. Like, uh -huh. I mean, the good is you get you you get well-known, you know, you get a lot of recognition from people. Um, you get noticed in the streets, you know, and, like, you can... Like for me, it, it opened up doors. Like I got acting credits and modeling credits. Mm -hmm. those, those are some of the good things. The bad is like, you know, like any other any other entertainment, anything else, people are gonna talk shit. You know, um, you gotta watch it, who you deal with. You gotta watch who you talk to. You gotta watch the shit you say. You feel me? Um, some people um, fake their tests. You know, some people will play dirty mm -hmm. or they'll, they'll be with the back and forth. Like if I work for your company and Julito has a different company, like, you know, I'll fuck, like, I'll tell Julito, oh, this nigga Adam was over there talking shit about you. And then when I come back to you, I'll be like, oh, Julito was over there talking shit about you just to cause drama. So like that, I can get over on both of you. Mm. And like the ugly, I would say it's like never get in a relationship with none of the, never. don't get in a relationship with a porn star. Like, mm -hmm. unless you already grasp mm -hmm. what, is, what it takes to be one. And you know what it takes, like, for the girl too. But like, when you get in a relationship with a, with, with, with a woman or with a man, that's in the industry, it's gonna be hard for you because everybody knows them. You're always working, you know, you're not always gonna be together. Mm -hmm. And you know people in the industry are like fucked up that they'll try to get with your, with your girl yeah, or yeah. they'll try to get with your man and then they'll shoot with them and they'll tell your husband or, or I mean like your, your man or, or your girl like, oh yeah, I was just fucking your girl, you know? So let me, let me ask you, how was, how was your debut? How was your debut video? How, uh, how did that go that day? I mean, it went great, but like now that I look back, like opposed to like some of my friends that I've actually put on, mm -hmm. like I, I had, uh, she was like 400 pounds. Ooh. Like huge. Okay. CDL like. Yeah, but we still knocked it down. You okay. Know? It was a CDL video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like CDL. a BBG, a BBG. Big boy. Yeah, it's yeah. like boy, boy, girl. Okay. It's like two boys and one girl. So with, with testing, when you say testing, yeah. how does that go with testing well, when you do shoots? If you you're trying to be on the come up you got to go get tested every 14 days every 14, 14 to days. 30 days every time that shit is like the covid yeah test. every time but right. that's how you want them to know that you're clean mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then notice now when you start getting big the company pays for that it's called talent testing talent testing. yeah you go strictly to them whenever you shoot videos they're the ones who who, who give you that test mm -hmm. you know you can't go to like a regular clinic or to like anything else you got to go directly to them and when you're filming, how many cameras are in the room? Uh, about four. You need different four. angles. You need the close up. Uh, you need the wide angle, and then you need like uh, you have like a guy that's just running around, just filming everything. But he gotta also realize that he can't be in front of these cameras. He gotta be like around them. Mm. So a couple. You so have three hundred and eighty-one million views. How does that make you feel knowing normal, that the world? Normal, bro. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal. Like it's nothing. Like, I carry myself humble. Like, I don't, that doesn't do anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it? I've done it and, I, and you know, I've helped people, but I, like, I feel more proud when people see it and then tell me, oh, I, I'm doing this shit because I saw you do it. You know, oh, I want to be like you. I'm like, don't be like me, be better than me. Like, I achieved this, now it's your time to get ahead and achieve more than I have. You know, I don't try to tell people, like, be like, oh, yeah, I'm the 380 million. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about that. How many videos do you think you've done about so 400. far? 400 videos. Yeah. Can you name some of the, uh, I guess, actresses uh, that you've worked with? Let me see. Aurora Jolie. Uh, uh, damn, I was about to mess up. Uh, Monet Devine, Virgo Paradox, Queen Rogue. Um, there's so many. Queen Gina Rogue. Valentina, Kelsey Monroe, Go Go Fuck Me, uh, Sarah J. Uh, it's been so many, man. Like, like I got to, like, 
one day, I gotta take a day and like sit down and like write down mm-hmm. all the women that you know what I'm saying that. And are you shooting in specific locations or are you traveling? All no, we around? travel. Some are shot in Miami, some are shot in Los Angeles, some are in Texas, some are even here. Mm-hmm. But you know, you, you would want to shoot where it looks dope because then, like, if you shoot in a house or an apartment, they'll consider it. <laughs> you want to be pro. So, Got like, it. you know, when you start, like, in a house or like that, it just doesn't look as professional as mm-hmm. you. That's, that's considered amateur. Okay. Then when you start moving up, it's like amateur pro. Then when you get to like Bang Bros, Reality Kings, Brazzer, that's the big leagues. Okay. You know? So since you said those names, do they ever come up to you or you go up to them and say, hey, let's work together? Nah, I mean, it, all depends, work? it all depends on your hustle, to, keep, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Like I, I saw that I could reach places with it. So I, what I did was I packaged the DVD and I didn't talk much. Hey, how you doing? My name is Makana, man. I'm from New York City, and if you're looking for, for talent, I'm in. I'll hand them the DVD. Mm. That was it. You know, I don't want to have much conversations. You know, people are always trying to be around them 24-7, yeah, so yeah. I'll keep it as short as possible. Okay. You know, like, oh, yeah, you know that person? Yeah, I'm cool with them. But look, this is who I am. Here's the DVD. If you watch it, cool. If you don't watch it, it's cool, too. Okay. But it, ha- okay. it had my number attached, and like people started calling me. Got it. Then, Huli- 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 let me ask you, you sir. Bacana, What's man. up? Because I'm real curious. Like, you being in the bed, right? Yeah. With two women and all the other male cameras around you. Yeah. Does that don't get you shy? No, no. You got to focus. You got to be in your mind. It's all a mental thing. One, like, at first, you know, you got to get your, like, sexual stamina up and all that at first. But once you have that control, now you got to control the mind. Because, like I said, like, if you nut before time, you're not getting paid. You know, I ask, I ask you that question because when I was doing time, like, they'll take me for a urine test. Yeah. And the CEO used to stand right there and watch me, and I couldn't piss. I yeah, used to yeah. tell him, like, bro, I can't pee with you nah, standing. I, so I imagine you with a whole four or five different cameramen, yeah. another one running around, you there. So basically, nah, I, you, I, I block it out. You block all that block out. All That's that. not even basically. I don't care. I don't see them at all. Hmm. Like, I go in my mind and I block everything out. Like, And, and I got another question for you. What's the requirement of being a porno star? The requirements are that you're clean, that you don't have no cuts or anything on your penis or on your ass or your back, like that you're clean, that you're clean cut. You don't necessarily need to have a big penis or a big booty or or anything like that. You just gotta be willing to do the work oh, and, oh. and you gotta look presentable. But you don't need to be um, all fit and have the biggest penis because you need to understand everything has an audience. <coughs> People with big penises have an audience. People with little penises have an audience. Micro penises have an audience. Big booty, little booties. You know, everything has a niche. Mm-hmm. So once you find your niche, then you can proceed to see what genre of porn you fit in. So it's. And, and I got, um, what's the most? What's the what's the most women you've been with at one time doing porn? About eight on the bed. Eight. Eight, eight, eight yeah, on the bed eight, is yeah. just you. Yeah, in the Versace mansion, they were like back to back. It was called the Human Centipede. The human centipede. Yeah, they were all eating each other back to back. <coughs> How long did that take to shoot? It didn't take long. Just remember, all the girls, about an hour. About an hour? Yeah, I mean, like, let's think about it. It's eight girls. You, you, you so, like, penetrate one of them for five minutes each in a different position, mm-hmm. you know? And then so once you, you're ready to nut, they're, like, all surrounded. So you mm. basically was drilling everything. Yeah, basically. <laughs> bang, bang, yeah. bang, 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 bang. Like you could sh- call me Bob the Builder. It was like Bob the, the Builder. Shootout. <laughs> Bob the Builder. Okay, okay. You have you ever had a bad day? Of course, bro. I had plenty of them. G- give me an example an, an of a example, bad day. Like, look, I never had met the girl. Um, she was excited to work with me, and when I walked in through the door, she started <laughs> crying. Why she's crying? To this day, I don't know why, but when she looked at me, she just started crying. Maybe she was scared. Maybe she just didn't want to work with me. Maybe somebody told her something about me. But she just, she started crying like somebody killed one of her family members. Wow. And then it made me feel bad because I'm like, I don't know her. Like, mm-hmm. you, probably, you probably remind her of her ex. Maybe, probably, something. <laughs> that she lost over porn or something. Maybe, bro, but it was just crazy to me because I was like, damn, she's making me feel bad. Because, mm-hmm. like, she's a pretty girl. Like, why wouldn't she want to work with me? What did I do to her? I didn't do nothing to her. I don't have anything. Like, you know, that was one. And then the other one was I threw up on a girl's back because... She had a stench in her vagina. Ooh. That was disgusting. Really? Yeah, bro. Uh, uh, let me ask you something. When they, when they, you said, you were talking earlier, Adam, about you getting tested and all that. Yeah. So when you get tested, that's not to use no condom? Yeah, that's to... Or you to, get tested still and mm-hmm. use a condom? 
You uh, nobody wants to watch condom porn. So you raw dog it. Yeah, it's always raw dog. That's the point of you getting the test. And you gotta you gotta notice that the girls also gotta get the test. Before you even get to know her, they send her your test and they send you her test. Wow. So you know she's valid. Then you gotta sit down with her. You know, get to know her and shit. Well, me, that's how I do it. Like, I would like to get to know her because once we shoot, we'll have a little bit of chemistry instead of just, like, going straight to sex. But you never, you never been, like, in a situation that there's some girls there and... Of course. And but you, you, ain't, know, you ain't get that attention? Of course. Just because like, oh, you, because you got to understand, like, there's a lot of things that play into that. Maybe shy, you could be shy because this is a girl that, you, that you've looked up to and you don't know how to talk to her. That you watched while you were a kid and now you're mm. getting the, to work with her. It can also be that you went out last night and you fucking bugged down. You didn't get enough sleep. Mm. Or you drank too much. So that happened to me where I went out the night before. Like I, the got, performance, I got so, too drunk and like my member was not So what they up. do with things like that? They just put they it get, off for another time? Nah, bro. They get you, you know, Viagra, whatever you may need. Mm. If you need a Viagra, if you need <laughs> a Cialis, some honey... Look, guys, he's giving y'all names. For yeah, y'all. you know, yeah. you get the yeah, honey. Yeah, yeah, get up. Those are Viagra, 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 those are Cialis. You get Jinx those. It. Yeah, jinxing, all, all that. Oh, well. Or you could go get the, uh, you know, out here, uh, they got those drinks. Which That's ones? like uh, 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 oh, Tiger Palm and, uh, and uh, they're like Arbor ginseng drinks. Yeah, they that. got the, like, the little store. You go there, bro, oh. you got a couple of those, you'll be all right. Oh, shit. You got a couple of them tiger bombs, right you'll the, be all right. Yeah, or a ginger, the, or a ginger gun. A ginger gun. What's the time on 15, that? 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. Like a ginger gun? Yeah. Get a ginger gun and a ginger shot. No, no, no. I'm saying, how long after the shot you last? Oh, sh- that's, on, that's on you. Oh, all right. Yeah, right. that's on you. Like me, usually I last 30, 40 minutes. I'm not trying to be a machine, but that's mm-hmm. usually what a video will last. Then you also yeah. got to understand, like, There'll be moments where you're like really brick and you might, he might just be like, cut. Because the girl got to go to the bathroom mm. and you got to make sure that you keep it up. So did this ever happen to you? Like you've been with a girl and you see that you like so excited. Of course. And as soon as you see her that you get in, you ready to go, but you like, oh shit, I can't because this is my money. Of course. So I got to play it off and I got to last the, the Of course, minutes. but you got to understand, bro. <laughs> you're you like, you're literally minutes, getting, you can literally, literally getting no you're getting literally recorded, and then you gotta understand. You got the cameras around you. You gotta, you gotta, all the people looking at you, and then you got this to focus on. You cannot nut before time, Ooh. so you gotta like leave out your head. So like, what you think about the um, me getting my penis? You think cut about off. the war, son. Me getting my penis cut off. <laughs> I think about my grandmother. Honestly, yeah, yeah that's that's the shit that brings it. <laughs> like if I feel like, like I'm gonna nut, I think about my grandma. Hey. I think about my grandmother. Okay. Because my grandmother's my, my world. So once I think about her, it's over. I'm, nothing's happening. Really? Yeah. So I, I got to ask you. But I don't think about her in the wrong way. Because, you know, when I say that, uh-huh. most people are like, what the fuck? Why is this? I say it like, she grounds me. Okay. So the moment that I think of her, like, I'm grounded. You forget that Yeah, she you was... forget that I'm shooting. I forget that I'm shooting a porn. I forget that I, all of this is going on. You forget on. you in the box. Yes, all of that. And I'm thinking about how is she? What is she doing? Mm-hmm. You know, if she's okay. You know, not no crazy shit like yeah, that. Yeah. People, when I say that, people So that's like, what keeps you to get your yeah, stamina yeah. to life. Or like me getting my penis cut off. Like somebody oh. grabbed a sword and just chopped me. Chacho. Oh. You know, because obviously that's going to take your mind yeah. away from me. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, wait a minute, you know? So yeah, yeah. Just try to think about something like that. But has that ever happened to you? What? Like you you, you, you got you got a pay cut? Nah. Short money for nah, that? No, 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 never. Oh. Actually, I, a lot of guys don't like me because... When they don't work, they call me, and I come and do the job and just bang it out. And like, it's, they gotta understand, like, this is work. I don't hate you. I don't have no type of anything towards you. Mm-hmm. They called me. I didn't call them to give me the work. So this falls on you. You fucked up. So now I gotta come do your job. So for if you. you're a guy basically that in the industry you last a lot. Yeah. People look. F- <coughs> they look for that. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what they look for. People. <coughs> people look for you. Yeah. They always gonna look for you, just like a female when she looks a certain. She has like an exotic. People want to be with that girl. They yeah. want her. So like they different want. labels of porn will look for you. Yeah, of course, because you gotta understand different labels of porn do different types of porn. Okay. Like you have tushy, then you have raw, and then you have black. It's all the same company. The difference is black has black, black, big black African American dudes on like straight white girls. Let me get a light. You know what I'm saying? Straight white girls. And then you have Tushy. It's like, per se, me, that I'm, let's say I'm 6'5", and we get a girl that's 5'6". 
It's a big guy and a small girl. Then you got mini guys. Yeah, and then you got you got like shorties with big. You got BBWs. That's girls. With, those are BBW porn. Okay. Then you got BBC porn. Those are like the guys with the big penises. You know, like what I was trying to let y'all know earlier. Everything has a niche. Yeah. Like if you would like, let's say when I first started, I would shoot with my hat on. So I got recognized as the guy who fucks with a hat on and that was, Jordans. That was like, for instance, like Brian Brian Popper. Yeah. Brian Popper used to wear all the fake jewelry. There on. you go. The so jewelry. he was known. Yeah. So he was known as the jewelry guy, face. even though we know his jewelry was fake. You know what I'm saying? Oh That's what he was known for. Okay. And like I, I'm known for like abusing on the like not abusing but like smashing the girls hard. Yeah. That's okay. why I call myself Makana man because no. if you look up the meaning, that's why I name myself Makana man. One, because I'm Dominican, you know, we're from the Caribbean, Taino, Afro Taino, all that, right? So that Makana is an is a instrument a that we like to stick. Yes, that we we use to defend ourselves from the slave from oh. the slave owners. From the slave owners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I name myself Makana man. Well, because I'm Spanish and I want people to know what a Makana means, oh. and it it goes back to like real world real history mm -hmm. like this is an instrument that they used to defend themselves yeah from the people that were oppressing them so that that's the reason behind my name i want i want to ask you sir you went you went viral in a scene of yours that you was doing a move you was doing you know your move yeah 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 <coughs> well, you went to do the the, the rick flair you was doing your movie you went to do the rick flair the way change over yeah. so so guys just so you know my kind of man's doing a scene with two women, right? He stands up on a bed, and the ceiling must have been like six feet. That ceiling was low. Well, it was on the and it had a ceiling bed. fan going three. Yes. So he stood up, and it hit you right in your eye. Right in that, right here. That's what happened. I don't know. Yeah, he has them. Yeah, Hector so. got him. What happened was. I told myself, like, from the start, like, from the start of the video, when the girls were giving me oral, I was looking up, and I, I saw the fan, and I was like, man, I hope I don't get too excited, and I forget that the fan is up there. And that's exactly what happened. When it was time to pop, I got up, like, I got up, and when I went to pop, I moved a little bit to the left, and the fan just caught me, like, now, bro, that's what you felt like. What the hell? <laughs> what it felt like? No, I'm just saying, like, what happened Nah, here? nah, honestly, it felt like, like I got smashed across the face with a bat. Yeah, so that's what it really felt like. I mean, so, so you, like you in, heard it. in instance, I, would, it. I, I like I was like this with my eyes closed, and like my right side was like, damn, I'm leaking. Yeah. That damn, yo, went. this shit broke my face. And then when I was able to open my eyes, that I like felt it like all around this area, and I touched it, I was like, oh shit, I'm okay. Oh, so you got lucky. You would have been able to probably change your name. But I got lucky because of a girl. Pirate Makana. Yeah, so probably. They would have had to be with a patch on. <laughs> they be like, ahoy, mi gente. <laughs> ahoy, mi gente. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, honestly, like, the girls saved me because they acted quick. The cameraman froze. Yeah. And you could tell. Nah, the cameraman he froze. Was, the cameraman was like, he was the like, girls, oh. like, I will show you after. The girls got up <laughs> and ran and got wrapped up like a, took a shirt off and put mad ice in the cup and wrapped it. And they, you know. So I gotta but, ask you, did you finish the scene? Hell yeah. I was fucking nutting while I, while yeah. I was the girl. You had the ill eye jammy. Yeah, the girls were like, are you nutting? And I'm like, yeah, I am. Uh, uh, while I'm on the bed. I'll show you. I'm gonna show you the video, bro. But, but it was, you know, like. Is I, the video out now? Like the, the scene? Yeah, you I will show you out. the real scene. Like okay. I posted it. I was like, the real <laughs> video that caused the, the accident. Now, why is it that <laughs> some pornos. They just get right into it. And then you got other pornos that it's not a movie, but they're acting. You know what I mean? That's what, that, what you're saying is called Gonzo. Gonzo? Gonzo. That's what that's called. That's when they go strictly into the right into into a video. It. They go straight, strictly right into, into it. it. You know what you I'm saying? Some of them, you got some of them like the girl's a tennis, a tennis storyline. The guy's a coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's mm -hmm. grabbing them from the back with the tennis racket. Yeah. I've done a bunch of those. <laughs> there. I've done the real estate they one. outside by the tennis court. Listen, yeah. I've done the real estate one. I did the tennis court one. Oh, you were a real estate agent? Yeah, I did. The, she was a real estate agent, and I was the the, the, the buyer. Okay, yeah, I wanted to buy. Yeah, then I've done um the stepsister, stepbrother shit. I've done I've done so many. Like I've done I even done like outside videos where like let's per se the girl's just running like she's running around the track, and I go like a perv. Hey, how you doing? 
blah, blah, blah. And then eventually we end up shooting. But like we shot in the park. And like, this is a crazy story. We were shooting. And like, I'm always on point. But that day I was so into the video that I didn't realize there was like three guys by the tree jerking off. Like While, random? Yeah, randomly. What? Yeah, they were just randomly jerking off. And I was like, my the cameraman was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? And we had to get them the fuck out of there. But like that happens all the time. When people know that you're shooting like outside, they'll stay around just to see. They want to see, but they're also like perverts. Wow. They, they might want to jerk off and do some dumb shit. I've also shot. I did the Uber thing too. Like I was the Uber. Oh, you were oh, the me Uber the driver? Girl, yeah, like me and the girl yeah. got in the Uber. And I told the Uber driver, like, yo, Uber, um... I'll pay you extra if you let me fuck my girl back here. Mm. You know, like those type yeah. of things. It's one of those all, taxi cab yeah, confessions. Yeah, it's all in the scenario, bro. It all depends on the scenario mm. and what you want to do. All right. That's so, what it depends on. Whoa, boys. Yeah. Tell us about that. What is, what's I mean, Whoa I, boys I joined the company in 2013. My boy already had built it or whatever. And like he wanted to make me, you know, I was putting in a lot of work for the company. Mm -hmm. And like I saw myself being more than just talent. Just more than a porn star, which yeah. I know I can be. Mm -hmm. So I told him what 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 would it take for him to make me his partner or something. And he told me I, it wouldn't take nothing. You already put it in the work. Mm -hmm. You get it. So we came to an agreement. Where <laughs> I will be half of the company. I got you. Well, I will be like half half owner of the company. Yeah. You know, and, and make my own moves with him. So what it was was like he's the producer. He's the money man. People know you and they know what's up. And I'm the talent. So I, I'm. I know you won't talk to these certain people because they're out of your way, mm -hmm. but I am. Yeah. So I go out there and I'm the networking guy. I'm the one that's at parties. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. The Wall Boys. He's a card. Call yeah, us. Yeah, you got yeah. girls or you got guys. You know so, what I'm saying? Like I'm the one that goes out there to hustle. Mm -hmm. He's more of the behind the scenes guy, cameraman. Okay. He's the one that knows about all this shit. So Wall Boys is a is a porn. Um, it's a company, production a production company. company, right? A porn production company. Yes. It started. Uh. It's still COVID, bro. That's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Thank you for That's that. Yours. Started uh, started about 2008, 2009. You know, I linked up with him 2013. And since that moment, we've been on. Like, you feel me? That's honestly somebody I could... So now you film for other people, but you film for... You got your own label. Yeah, bro. Yeah. But because this is why you got to understand about that shit, bro. You got to work for these people. And like, not, to, not for you to be fake, but you know, when you're in certain rooms with some of these people, you got to like level your shit down and you gotta like i didn't like that yeah you know what i'm saying i respect it but i don't like that yeah. like i gotta dumb myself down to satisfy you you know so i started seeing people that were like me you know, telling so them to the come rock with me system, yeah. come rock with me come fuck with me because these people are they doing like honestly bro if i could i would pay people all the money that they deserve you understand and like we got porn companies that will pay a female <laughs> anywhere from two thousand to five thousand so that's what I wanted to ask you. So like, you doing a skip more or less, you're getting paid how much? Me, a thousand, fifteen hundred. That's how much I've gotten. Like a thousand to fifteen hundred. <coughs> For making a half an hour poor. Because I'm a male. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's more, it's, it's, it's more about taking care of the other, other woman. You know what I mean? Like me, I'm good because I'm a man, you know. But like, in all honesty, we got the hardest job. Hell yeah. We got to keep it up. We can <coughs> We got to look fit. We got to look a certain way. You got to hit her a certain way. You know, like, and I'm not saying that the woman doesn't have, but I'm saying when it comes to, like, the shit that the male has to do, like, he goes through more shit. There's a lot more work. It's a lot more work. Yeah. They got to cut the camera. Food, you got to stand over there and you got to, you, while they fixing whatever they are, you got to stand on that corner, bro, and play with your shit because if your shit goes down and then you come back to action, then shit's not going to look the same. Shoot's over. Yeah. So... <laughs> She was over. Same Nobody's thing with, getting same paid. Same thing with the women. Like, let's say, <laughs> Nobody's for, paid. let's say a lot of women, they might like getting the hair pulled, mm. but it don't look it on camera. They might have a wig on. So when you sit down, like, that's the reason why we would sit down. I'll be the producer. You'll be the girl. I'll be the guy. And he'll, and he'll ask us, mm. what do you like? Oh, he could do this. He could do that. He could do this. What don't you like? I don't want him to pull my hair. Not to use too much spit, and then you know. That's how you level out. And she'll ask you what it what, levels. What you don't like. There's I'm levels like, oh, to this shit. Don't young scratch boy. me. Don't don't like put your nails in my back. I don't like that shit. All you right. know, don't do that certain thing and then that's it. Once you figure out the do's and the don'ts, you on, bro. Ooh. It's now, a party. This is a question to kind of let people know like you think porn, you forget they're still human, they got lives. Oh, listen. Right? But hold on, I, I'm saying that to say, me and my wife watched this uh, this shit on, I think it was like Hulu or some Pam and Tommy Lee joint, right? And 
dude was watching his girl do her thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And after the scene, she went up to him, kissed him. And I said, yo, that's just a job. That's what I explain to people that I don't know. Like, I wish my wife was more, like, out there like that and she would want to speak. Oh, so but, you're married then? Yeah, married, bro. 12 years with my wife. Yeah. I've been doing porn for 16. 16? Yeah, bro. You know, people don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Yo, Simple. She met me while I was doing this. I sat her down. Look, babe, this can take me places. This can open doors. Not for me only, but for you too. This is what I do. Don't feel like I'm just here because I want to be a porn star and I want to fuck all the bitches. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not what I do. So I started to take her. You understand what I'm saying? Started to take her to my shoots. Mm -hmm. She had a goal and a dream. She wanted to be a makeup artist. One day I had the money. I helped her buy the makeup. Now, what do you think my girl does? She's the makeup artist. Look at that. She right. goes to my shoots. She yeah. does the but girl's let me makeup. Say, don't, she don't feel no certain No, way. because she knows. See you. She doesn't yeah. watch me. <coughs> oh, she don't watch it. Mm. Let's, say oh. we were, let's say we were about to you shoot You were shooting right the porn. My she wife would, be would in come room. in here. My wife would come in here. Hi, everybody. And she's only going to get to know whoever she's doing the makeup on. Oh, all right. The girl that I'm working with. Yeah. So, number one, that shows my girl that I'm not on that type of time. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. No. They chilling. They hanging out. The girl sees that my wife is there, my, that I'm married, that ain't nothing, ain't nothing but this work happening. Mm -hmm. And then I just be chilling and she sees. So I started taking her more and more. She gets to know more and more. Oh. So now she doesn't have that fear in her head that's like, oh, this nigga's going to go fuck bitches. Because she knows who I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to go work with such and such? Yeah. Oh, I did her makeup before. She's mad cool. You know what I mean? There. That's why I did it. It's a big it wasn't for no other reason. Like, yeah. like, oh, yeah, I just want to bring my, my wife around that. It was like, okay. if I show my girl the world that I'm in, and she sees how they treat me in this world, she's going to open her eyes, and she's going to want to start her own shit. Like, not that she wants to go, like, to go to these events, but she plays a big part into me mm -hmm. being, like, uh, what I am in this. She's helped me with, with like, everything. All my emails. Like, I, I dropped the calendar. She was there with me. You know, she was running my shit. You know what I mean? So she showed me how to, she showed me how to carry myself. Not to carry myself like like just some random regular dude. She showed me how to carry myself in certain rooms, mm -hmm. you know. So once I opened my shit, I would just bring people to fuck with me, and I started like a whole network of people. All right. You know, build companies, help people. But so now your company, Wolf Boy, basically has a lot of other pawns. Yes, a Porn lot. Stars. But you gotta understand that we it was before me. You get it? Like he been doing this before me. Good. You get it? And he and then he. Put, bring me in as part of the team. There's other people that play parts too. But you know, it's it's like when it comes to like the getting the girls, the the traveling, the putting them in rooms with certain people that he may not know, it's me. Just like, he'll be like, I need you to go to DR. Here's $3,000. I want you to shoot with three girls. I gotta go to DR. I gotta find the three girls. I'm gonna pay them, but I gotta make sure that the shit that's recorded it's an issue just like he records it. I'm not just going to DR yeah. to find yeah, let me get three girls. Fulana. No, 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 no. I'm going out there. I'm going to the Let's grand. I'm looking for girls that actually... First, I'm looking for girls that are actually are doing this. Because I'm not just going to look for a girl that's in the streets. Because chances are, once we shoot it and put it out, she's going to want it off. Okay. Because of the, the attention she's yeah. going to get. So yeah. I just get some girl that's popping on OnlyFans. That's 100,000. To me, the followers don't matter. Mm -hmm. It depends to me how I level with you. You know, and I know a lot of girls like that. I went to DR. I, nobody wanted to shoot with me. One girl shot with me. Then everybody wanted to shoot with me. So I realized, I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta weed the snakes out. So I worked with her. <coughs> I got to give thanks to her. Then she started to put me on. Mm -hmm. And I would pick and choose. Be like, no, I don't want to work with you. I can see what you're about just by your Instagram. Oh, yeah. You want money and clout. I'm not on that. So what's I'm all your award shows now? Huh? What's all, the, what's all your genre award shows now? What do you mean? Like you got AVN, right? Yeah, we got AVN. You got you XBiz. Got? You got uh, the Fannies. Mm -hmm. I want a Fanny. 2013 Coxman of the Year. Mm -hmm. uh, you got you got some. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laughing, but it's the truth. <laughs> and I was going up against some heavy. Awards, I, was, I was going up against some heavy hitters. Evan Stone, like the OGs, like the dudes that we grew up watching. That's the dudes that I was in the category yeah. with. 
Evan Stone, Ron Jeremy, yeah. uh, 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 Carlo one. Carrera, like all them old school cats, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, feel me? Like for people to know me mm-hmm. and get to notice me and see who I am, like that's the year that I that everything switched up for me. Parties are crazy. Yeah, yo, parties are, don't even talk. The parties be crazy. Mm-hmm. Super crazy, but you gotta stick with what you know because you'll get drugged and. So what's but next? But like in any other party. What's next? What you got going oh, on? Oh, well, I got a... What else? You, you just doing that or what? what no, 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 no. I got a dildo coming out okay. soon that we already out, that Pause. we already worked on. It's coming out. We yeah. just... We just working on that for the girls, you know, and for the, you okay. know, the LGBT community. Okay. There. So, um, we working on comics, like, So, many women animation. can purchase that. Yeah. But I'm trying to like at first I'm gonna do the like the dildo, you know, like the part. I'm trying to get like the body one. The one that comes like with the body. Oh, this nigga. That's the one I'm trying to get done. You know what I'm saying? Uh I'm trying to become <coughs> create a documentary. Okay. Oh, but right. the, the documentary I'm trying to create is you see how you watch a porn documentary, like after porn ends or this or that. Like they don't show you our people in our culture that do that. They show you, you know, the, the, the Caucasians and and them over there. They're not showing you us. So I want to create a documentary where I can go to different countries and spotlight the people like us. Go to Puerto Rico oh. and see and talk to girls that are doing OnlyFans. Go to Colombia, go to Panama, go to DR, you know, go to shit like that, Jamaica and mm-hmm. things like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And just talk to them. Hey, how did you get into porn? How was porn for you? Like, you know, were you stripping before this or, you know, were, were, were you molested or, you know, just find that information out. You know, because we don't see documentaries like that about yeah, yeah, our yeah, culture. Yeah. You know? What, what would you tell somebody that would want to get into the industry? Uh, what I would tell them is you got to really connect with the right people. Number one. Number two, you always got to make sure you're safe. And then don't trust everybody because everybody's not your friend. I've heard. That's, that's it. You got to stick to the people that I tell you, look, don't do this, do that, do this. You know what I'm saying? Don't stick with the person. Let's <coughs> go over here. Let's go over here because they're just getting you in trouble and you're not working. You're not getting no work done. Mm-hmm. Well, That's well look, before we go, we got some ladies in the back that anybody have a question? Yeah. Everything's been no, answered. You sure? No questions? We, we good? No questions, I'm open to any question. Don't be, don't be shy. All right. My brother, we appreciate you. Nah, I appreciate y'all, you know, man. Thank you for bringing me to the You know, I told you from the jump. No, of course. We I told you from the jump. Nah, you know, you're Everybody the man for else. that. Bro. You're the man for that, bro. I appreciate right. you guys, man, for giving me the opportunity to be on so, here. So what's next you got coming up now, my kind of man? Yeah, we're going to DR. Uh, we're going to Colombia April 6th. Then we're going to uh, Dominican Republic. And then we're trying to go to Brazil. Mm. Oh, so you actually book right uh, of course, Not book, but like... Since but, we run our, we run on our own schedule, yeah. what we try to do is like, since we're going to Colombia right now, I'm speaking to girls that are in Colombia or guys that are in the area that I'm going to go to. So once we go down, there's no time being wasted and looking for girls, finding girls, or like that. We can work during the day and then get <coughs> to enjoy Colombia during the night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Also, like, let's say we set up two shoots in one day. That's mm-hmm. what we try to do. We'll shoot one shoot at nine in the morning. Maybe that will last to like 12 or 1, mm-hmm. take a break. Then we'll start another shoot from 3 to 5. Mm-hmm. Then they never we, try to make you have no scene with no man. Of course they have, plenty of times. But that's not what I'm into, bro. Mm-hmm. That's not for me, bro. Uh, for uh, me, I respect everybody's shit, but that's not for me. That's not uh, what I'm into. Uh, but I respect it if that's what you like. Uh, not for me. Right. They offer me 100000 to do a gay porn. Hell no, you bugging. Hey, that's just on there for a week, for the rest of your life, bro. Ever. I mean, like the way I think about it, you know how people would say, um, bro, so if you have kids, what would you tell your kids? I tell them, I'll give them the clip, bro, to finish people off because they're going to try to come make fun of them, right? I tell my kids, when they're of age 14, 15, look, your dad used to do porn. This is what he was mm-hmm. doing. This show been doing. Yeah. I'll Just explain say it what your daddy used so to do. So when a kid, uh, it could be a, it, <laughs> if it's a daughter it. or a son, no matter if it's a daughter or a son, when they're yeah. of age, I'll tell them, so... Because, you know, when we were kids and we found out shit about our parents that they didn't tell us, we, fo- we was kind of hurt, mm-hmm. you know? So I'd rather tell them. So when somebody comes, oh, your daddy's a porn star. My, my son and my daughter could be like, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, before yeah. Yeah. before like we go, I want to ask you something to clear the airwaves. They said that the supposedly airwaves. Ozuna yeah. was doing porn, jerking yeah. off to some guys that were doing some sex. Yeah. And we spoke earlier and you said... That was bullshit. That's bullshit. Straight bullshit. 
that that was just a five hundred dollar clip. Mm -hmm. Him alone whacking that's over it. the that's hotel it. and you're yeah, gone. That's it. That's it. And that's, they mixed them up in the. That's all it was, and they mixed them up in some bullshit that had nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so you, so you people say. understand? I'm the man who took him. For me, there was nobody I'm else. That man is the man he that took Ozuna. Yeah. To earn himself five hundred dollars before and his that's career. It. That's it. To whack off. And that's it. For fifteen minutes. That's it. When when other people out there do this shit yeah. for free, my man got five hundred dollars. That's all it is. That's all it was. That's it. So. And when nothing else happened, so none of that had shit. Anything about that's, Azuna, that's it. Here's the man yourself, my guy. That's God, man. it. That's it. Saying and what really happened. That was back then. He wasn't trying. He good. was trying to be an artist. Yeah. And like at the end of the day, like let's say if I blow up tomorrow and I get all the the blessings that he's gotten, I'm never in a million years would I think that like. My that porn that I did years ago will fuck like yeah, yeah, my yeah. career, you know, like will will taint my shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was just young looking for. And somebody. that's it. And that's, that's it. it. That's all it was. Yeah. Like people were trying to make it a big deal. Right. But we're not on that. Like we moving on bigger things. You know, I, I, um, God bless him. I, I love him. I love him. I love him. I got love for him. That's my nigga for life. You know? <coughs> and it is what it is, bro. You already know. I appreciate thank you, you guys. Much, thank you. Thank you, you guys. Show. Come on, man. You guys you is the know. man. Give a big shout out to my man, Mr. Makana, man, representing DR, New York, and all over. Give him a round of applause. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Round of applause for you guys for doing an incredible job, too. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. Makana, man. For sure.